This is a fifth grade lesson on mixing colors and today we're going to be working on a color wheel and we're going to be moving from yellow to blue. Um, today my students need to have the following items. They need to have a palette, doesn't matter if it's the circle or the square. They need a paintbrush, a paper towel, a small cup of water, um, a blue tray to go underneath the surface of their color wheel to protect their tables and then their color wheel that they are working on painting. When completing their color wheel, the students only need the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and white for making a tint. Today we're only going to be using yellow and blue, so I don't need the red. I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, and we have tea pins in our paints to keep them from drying out. So they're going to need to take the tea pin out and then carefully squeeze just a little bit of paint, not even halfway full, maybe about a quarter full inside each one of their palette spaces. So I'm taking the cover off of the yellow and it's really important that we hold on to that. So I'll put it back in the paint box so other people can put it back on if they're using this. If I was done, I'd put it on right away. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white here as well. Now I can always take more paint so I just want to take a little bit at a time. So if I use up all that white paint, I can go and get more white when I need it. Today we're going to start with yellow because yellow is the lighter of the two colors. So I'm going to dip right here in the yellow and then really carefully paint just this small face on my color wheel. And then before I wash my brush, it is not wet, before I wash my brush, while it still has yellow on it, I'm going to dip in my white, and I'm going to mix up a tint right here. Now I'm mixing this until the yellow and the white are mixed up. I need a little bit more white to lighten it. Shouldn't have stripes of yellow and stripes of white, it should be a light yellow that I'm making. So once I have that mixed up, I'm going to really carefully paint inside that spot. That is the tint of yellow that I do. Now that I'm done with the yellow, I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. And to do that, I'm going to take the brush and just swish it inside the water. My water is not even halfway full. I don't need that much. I'm just gently swishing it on the bottom of the cup. Now I'm going to go ahead and swipe it on the side. I never ever tap. I always swipe. If I tap, it always gets water all over everything with paint and ruins some of my artwork. I'm gonna go ahead and inside the paper towel, I'm going to pinch, which is I'm making this pinching motion with the brush in here, which is not only getting the water out of it, but giving it a nice um, tip for painting. <coughs> it's a little bit dirty here still, so I'm gonna just rinse it just a little bit more, swishing it back and forth in the water swiping it on the side of the cup and then pinching it dry with the paper towel. Now I'm going to go back into the yellow so it doesn't really matter if it has a little yellow on it. The next color we're trying to make is yellow green. So it's yellow with a little bit of blue in it. So I'm going to put yellow on my brush and I'm moving it to another space in my palette. And what I'm going to do is barely, barely touch in that blue because blue is so strong. I barely took any blue, just a tiny little bit because I'm making yellow green. So there should be more yellow than blue in that color. So I'm mixing that up. And what I should be getting is a very light, kind of like a lime colored green. And I'm mixing until the yellow is mixed with that blue. I shouldn't see either color on my brush or in the palette. And then I'm going to carefully paint right inside that yellow green spot. Now if I needed to, I could add a little bit more blue, but I think I've got a pretty good color going here. Now while I still have the yellow green that I just made on my brush, 
I'm going to dip it on the corner of the white and right next to that yellow green on top of that palette, I'm mixing a tint. It's white and the yellow green that was already on my brush. So I should be making a lighter color of yellow green. So I'm really mixing that up. Carefully painting it in here once I have the colors mixed. And then I would be ready to move on to the next color. So I need to wash my brush because it has white in it and that is a tint. And I'm trying to make a pure color next. Does anybody need any help or have any questions about the yellow green right now while I'm on pause? <clears throat> now that my brush is clean and dry, I am going to move on to the green. So now that we're getting closer to blue, it means we're going to have more blue. We're right in the middle between the yellow and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some yellow on my brush. And I'm going to move it over into another space. And now I'm going to, again, start with just a little dip of blue. Blue is so powerful that once I get it really dark, I won't be able to go back. So I just started with just a little dip of blue. And I've kind of got a green going on, but it still looks like it's a little yellow green. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit more of blue. That might be a little bit too much. So I'm going to swipe that off. Just start with a little bit. Take a little bit more. Just keep mixing until I feel like I have a nice colored green. Okay, I think I'm pretty close there. I can always go ahead and test on here. If I make a mistake, I can let it dry and paint over it. Okay, a tiny bit more blue. That's way too much. There we go. So I'm mixing that up. And I'm going to go ahead and paint right in this space right here where it says green. Okay, once I've got that done, I'm going to keep the green on my brush, not washing it. And I am dipping in a tiny bit of white. And then over on the side of my palette, I'm making a tint. I need a little bit more white because I'd like it to be lighter. And I'm mixing until I don't see stripes of other colors. Okay, so I have a nice light green. I'm going to mix right in here. And I'm going to rinse and dry my brush with the paper towel before I move on to the next color. All right, the next color we're going to be making is blue-green. My brush is clean and it is dry. I have yellow over here in this place and it's pure yellow. It doesn't have any white in it, doesn't have any other color in it. So I am going to take a little bit of blue. Again, blue is so powerful. I just want to start out with a little bit of it. And if I need more, I can always go back. I'm being really careful not to scoop any of that tint in there because I'm not trying to make a tint. I'm making pure colors right now. So I'm mixing in here. And that's looking a little bit green. Yeah, I can see that that would be a good green color that I had there. So if I'm liking that, like I just see, I like that green. So I'm just going to paint right over the top of my other green. It still has a tint of green down there, and that's okay. I'm going to leave that. So next, I'm going to add a little bit more blue, taking a dip in the blue. And I'm going to really mix that up. So I just added a little bit more blue and I'm still mixing this up here. You can test it on here to see if it's a blue green. It's looking a little bit darker. So I'm going to add just a little bit more blue. Kind of is going to be like a turquoise looking color. 
So I can keep it like that or add more blue, whatever I prefer. Just add it a little bit more blue to really make it a nice blue green. And every time I'm adding, I'm making sure that I'm really mixing those colors up. I don't see stripes of green and stripes of blue. I mix it up until I have one nice color. So then I can paint here, and if I want to, if I don't like that color again, I can let it dry for a little bit and then really paint over it. So I still kind of want a little bit more blue in there. That's better. And the paints dry pretty quickly, so I can go ahead right now and just paint right over the top of that. And now that I have the blue-green on my brush, I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to take just a little dip in the white here, go to an empty spot, and mix it up until I don't see stripes of blue-green and I don't see stripes of white in my color. So that looks like it's pretty well. Oh, I see some green stripes there. I'll really mix that up. Okay. And then I'm going to carefully paint it right inside here. And then I would wash my brush and start with the blue here. And it looks like I've already done blue, so I'll be starting with a tint of blue as soon as my brush is clean. So I am washing, uh, I just finished washing my brush and it's dry. Would carefully paint this with just a pure blue. Then with blue on my brush, I am taking a dip in the white. I have an empty palette space over here and since this would be the end of the colors I'd be doing today, it doesn't matter, I can use that up. And I'm mixing until that color is completely mixed up. Should be a nice light blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and carefully paint right inside that little triangle there. And then I will rinse my brush off. For my students for the day, that would be where we get ready to clean up. Their color wheel would go on, a, on the drying rack. We always load our drying rack from the bottom to the top so the paintings don't, don't get smashed. Their blue tray would be... Um, stacked back where they got it from. Their cup of water should be brought to the middle sink, dumped out, filled with clean water once, and then upside down to dry in our circle drying rack. Their paper towel can be used to just very quickly scoop out some of the extra paint that they didn't use and then to be thrown in the garbage. Their paintbrush should be dropped off in the first sink, and their palette goes upside down in the third sink. This is a fifth grade lesson on how to mix colors on a color wheel from yellow to blue.